Hello, this is Shane Michael with Mitten, and right now we're going to go over how to exclude yourself from your Google Analytics data. All right, so let's say you're working on your site, you're updating things, you're writing a blog post, or perhaps you're a developer and you're actually editing your website and clicking the refresh button. There are other ways to do this. You can actually get some Chrome extensions and various things like that, but one of the most foolproof ways is to actually block your IP address where you're working. So whenever you get to a new spot, go over to analytics, just analytics.google.com with your login. And it'll look a little different than this initially. It kind of comes into the main homepage, which, okay, this is the homepage. It'll pop up whatever one was the last site you were looking at. And so what you want to do is just come down to admin, regardless of what it says up here. Because once you're on this admin tab of your analytics, you actually have the account right here. So don't worry about this. I can select from right here and I can select the account that I want to set a filter for. So let's say I wanted to do something in here. I could actually click in here and then I could figure out, oops, I could pick the exact site, or I could set a filter at this level and block everything. So whenever possible, you want to do it on the outside level. And so if I come over to Lewa, for example, I would actually just come in here to go to all filters, and then go to add filter, and then I would add in a name. And so what we like to do is use our IP address. So you just go, what is my IP address? Boom, copy that, jump back over here. You can actually put this in if you want. You could also put your location or the date. I like to do the date so you can check in. And so you can actually just keep your own little inventory of where this is if you need to. All right, come down here to select filter type, exclude traffic from the IP addresses that are equal to, and then you actually just paste that in like that. And then what you want to do, this part's a little weird, but these are all the views in the account. So you want to select all of them and click add because you want to apply the filter to all of them because we do not want to count any of our internal traffic towards the aggregated total. And so just give it a little once over and click save. All right. So you can actually see the various ones that we already have in place. This is just for internal use. It doesn't really mean anything in terms of the functionality of it. As long as you actually paste in the IP address in there, then you can, you can do that. So that's how you add your IP address to customer sites. And you can also come in and edit yours. So if you actually kept your IP address, you can just come back into the same site and just hide it every time you are working on it. And you'll want to do that for all analytics account, all analytic accounts you have access to. And anybody else that's testing, ask them what their IP address as well and make sure to add it to this Google Analytics dashboard at the highest level possible. I'm Shane Michael with Mitten and thank you for watching.